I'm Jeremy Cooley, and I'm a product marketing manager here at Atlassian. Uh, and then today I'm joined by Jan Lawrence from Devo Team. And today we're going to showcase the mission by highlighting Jira Service Management's place in the software development lifecycle specifically. And we're going to do that by showcasing two integrations with our core developer tools, which would be Jira Software and Bitbucket. This process can be quite messy. Software development can be quite a messy process. As you see here, there's tons of tasks that each team um, or each phase needs to focus on. And we're going to try to connect the dots and how Jira Service Management can streamline this process a little bit more for you. When we look at our operations, I'm going to break this down for on the incident management side into three stages. We've got our investigation, our collaboration, and then our review. In the past, I spent a lot of time searching through source control and change management tools to find the information I require when we've had an incident. What has happened? Who did it? I'll show you how the Atlassian toolset brings all this information together in one place as we handle a major incident. So, uh-oh. Our system's down. We've got the dreaded 500 internal server error. What happens now? So our users, assuming we don't have some great built-in observability in there and monitoring, one of our users has found that our website is down. So they've gone to our portal, and they've submitted an incident. Now, Jason will cover in a bit more details about the use of the portals. But we've got our incident submitted into here. So looking at the, the ticket that has been then submitted into JIRA service management, we've got our incoming incident with a critical priority and extensive impact. This looks like a major incident to me. So let's mark it as such. We can simply do this directly within service management. We have a little toggle, toggle switch down there. And we, we can click that and mark this as a major incident. So we can then start swarming on it. So they say the first sign of madness is talking to yourself. So I'm going to hand you back to Virtual Jan. Thank you, real life Jan. And the second sign of madness is replying to yourself. I want to show you some of the functionality within Jira Service Management that can help you resolve incidents in a more timely manner. We'll start at the investigation stage, swarm the incidents with others to establish a root cause, and agree a resolution and finally implement that resolution. So we had a problem with our website, the dreaded HTTP 500 error code. So let's have a look at the incident in Jira Service Management. As real life Jan mentioned, we can escalate this to a major incident. We can simply toggle this switch. You'll see we've got a nice label at the top that tells us this is a major incident. And if we go to our queues, we can see it's now in our major incidents queue. Now there's some cool new functionality in here that will help us to investigate this ticket in more detail. First thing I'm going to do is look, we have this investigate button at the top. What this enables us to do is it shows us the deployments there have been for this service. We can select these and we can mark it as a potential cause. So let's add that to the ticket as a potential cause. So we have that linked in here. What we can also see is recent changes on the same affected service. And we can also see similar requests. So it looks like this may have happened before. Let's open it in a new tab. So yes, we've got an internal error 500 that happened caused by a deployment. We also have a review on there, what happened. So we can possibly find some useful information there. Going back to our original ticket, we can see we have a related article. This will take us into Confluence. This is a page. So we see here what we've actually got here is our post-incident review on the previous incident that happened. So it looks like a restart of the service after deployment fixes the issue. So that will deal with the immediate problem. And there are some recommendations that we update the pipeline to do a restart after a deploy. That seems a bit ham-fisted to me. Maybe this time round we'll dig into that a bit deeper. So let's get some guys together on a call and let's swarm this incident. So there's a few ways we can do that here. 
we can create a channel. Click on this. This will create a channel in Slack. So we select our workspace, give it a channel name, just taking the default, which is the ticket ID, and we click create. We can then click on here and let's join it. So anyone else coming and looking at the ticket can also come and join this channel and we can get people chatting together to figure out how, how we can resolve this. Alternatively, you may think that what we actually need is a call. So let's start a conference. Looks like I've worked up virtual virtual journey in the middle of the night. Let's join the session. Oh, so we already have another Jan here. A bit overloading on Jan. We can do sh screen sharing sessions here. We also have a chat where we can chat to people. And we can add additional users if we wish to. Bye bye. So we know that a reboot fixes the immediate problem, but in order to fix the root cause, we've discovered a code change is required. So we can create a Jira software ticket from Jira Service Management by clicking the Link Issue button, scrolling down, click Create Linked Issue, let's select the Jira software project, and let's say it's a bug, click Create, and we've got our Jira software issue here. What we want to do is a post incident review. So there's a nice another handy button here to add a PIR. So we can see our PIR is attached here. So let's go in. Let's draft this. Put in our description. Now what we need to do is to publish this. So we export to Confluence. Operations, give our page title. And there we go, we've published that into Confluence. And we can review it in here. Alternatively, if we're happy with that, we can mark it as published. So there we have our knowledge base article for future reference, should this come up again. Hopefully this is a better resolution this time. So we've seen how the integration between Jira Service Management, Bitbucket, OpsGenie and Confluence can help us resolve our tickets sooner. Access to all the information in one place helps us investigate what has happened. Collaboration tools help us work together to establish a root cause and agree on a resolution and a post-incident review that was done to increase the value of our knowledge base. I think I'm done here. Back to real life, Jan. Thank you, Virtual Jan. So having everything together in one place can help us get all the information we need to investigate those incidents. The collaboration channels help get everyone together. We agree on a resolution and the post-incident reviews can help with future incidents. So we've looked how the integration between the Atlassian tools can help you bring together your delivery and operations team to deliver great service to your customers. Mm -hmm.